Hey girls, it's Wednesday and it is turning into a blizzard outside. It's crazy. When I woke up, it was just it was coming down. And then when I tried to go to the gym at noon, I couldn't get out of my neighborhood the usual way because you have to go up a hill and my car wouldn't go up the hill. Um, trying to get off of my street, I ran into one of my neighbor's front yards right over their curb because I couldn't turn or stop and the next way I tried to go was closed off for construction so it, and then when I finally got out of my neighborhood I saw three car wrecks and I finally I got to the gym where I bicycled nine miles in 25 minutes which I hear is quite a feat, but I've always been a, friend, a fan of the bicycle. Anyway, I had one class today at 2.05, and then I came home and shoveled the driveway, which is probably a dumb thing to do since it's still snowing. I'm sure it's covered by now, and now I'm having some warm tea. Yummy. Mm. Anyway, I hope you're both staying warm in the deep south. I'm so jealous. But, I mean, it's really neat to be able to actually experience all four seasons. When the snow turns from less of a powder to more moist or watery, I guess, I'm going to try and make a snowman. Because... I have never made a snowman. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to do that, and I really hope my 8.05 class in the morning is canceled. It's too early. Way too early. Anyway, um, I've got some links to other videos that I posted on my page of the snow throughout the day. So just check them out, they'll be like here, and here, <laughs> and let's have a Chester update. Poor Chester was in Kansas all winter long, for the whole month, and he's not doing as well as I had hoped. He was downstairs in the, din in the kitchen, dining room area, and it's about 10 degrees colder in the kitchen than it is upstairs. So I finally decided to bring Chester upstairs into my room and I put a lamp on him so that Chester can actually get some heat and some light and his leaves on the bottom have just been falling off like from touching them they'll just come right off. But I assume that has to do with him getting taller because look right up here there are new sprouts of leaves so he's not dead he's still growing which is pretty amazing considering Chester is an avocado tree in the dead winter of Kansas anyway my classes I've only had one of each so far um, I keep being told in class that we have certain prerequisites that we should have taken and I haven't taken any, uh, any linear integer programming or optimization classes and apparently I'm supposed to have that under my belt and well, well I just I don't know it yet and it's not my fault I mean how was I expected to know that before I came in here? Well, I hope you guys check out my pictures that I'm going to be posting on Facebook of the snow and the videos. And Katie, your clinicals sounds very clinical. <laughs> and Sammy, I don't remember what you said because it's always been five days since you posted when I post. Um, but I hope you're staying warm. I heard it's in the 60s down there, and I guess that's cool. 
remember when I lived in Florida, when it got down to the 60s, I thought it was cold also. So I both hope you both have a great week, and I'll see you on Friday, Sammy.